Right, so just about to set off. Um, I got a can of Coke for the road. I think it's about an hour and a half drive. I did pick up the, I've got the address here from the leaflet. I actually picked this leaflet up from uh, the London Card Show. So we're going to Welling in Kent. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half. Shop's open until 6 p.m. I've left it a bit late. It's now two o'clock, but plenty of time to get there. I did ring ahead and make sure that he was a, he was he was open he was i don't know if i can film there yet so i'm gonna ask him when i get in i'm gonna have a look around if i don't want to buy anything i don't know if there's any point or if i don't if there's not a lot of sports cards i don't know if there's any point me filming in there but um we'll see i might not even pick anything up so I'd, I, i'm gonna scout out if there's anything that i want to buy because it'd be a bit pointless asking him can i film in your shop and then not buy anything i feel like that that'd be a bit of a weird weird thing to ask um but yes this is the uh, this is the binley mega chippy of sports sports cards in the UK, uh, Welling Collectibles. So get down to Welling Collectibles. It's not sponsored. I just I just want to find a shop that, oh, here you go. This, this is the things they do. Football and other sporting memorabilia, retro football shirts, coins, stamps, medals, sci-fi figures, toys and board games, cigarette trade and playing cards. There you go, including Pokemon, vinyl records, autograph and signed books, vintage clothing, other vintage items. And they also clear lofts and garages. So I think I spoke with Ian yesterday, but there's also Barry or Mark. So let's get, let's get going because um, otherwise I'm going to, I'm going to, get there a bit late and i've got a uh, takeaway curry when i get home oh, bosh um the audio is going to be a bit bad because i haven't actually got a, a mic with me at the moment so i'm just using the camera audio so i apologize if there's those of background noise i'll try and tidy it up a, a little bit if i can um but without further ado let's jump on the road and let's get there obviously i'm not going to film when i'm driving because um it's just me on my own so i haven't got anyone to film me and um you've got to concentrate when you're driving so let's go Got the VIP treatment. Yeah, the VIP. <laughs> as I said, downstairs, don't fall. As I said, you, we don't pay if you That's fall down no. there or smack your head. <laughs> right, I mean, it was for little people, this place. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, mind your head, I mean, I'm a foot above it. Yeah. But, uh, it's interesting. I'm only 5'8", to be fair, aren't you? Yeah, probably all right. All right. But yeah, still got to duck a little bit. Like so. Yeah, all of the like Chelsea, Fulham, we try and keep it in order, Arsenal over there, um, and then stuff like, this is all signed stuff, coin covers, cigarette packets, these are great, these are Dulwich Hamlet posters from 1960s, I mean, Yeah, all good stuff. How did you How did you manage to get those I, in? A bloke came in. I used to work in Otford in the antique shop there. Yeah. A bloke came in. He said, oh, "I'm clearing that be loft. Do you want to take these off me hands?" Hmm. I gave him a few bob for them. And um, yeah, <laughs> you never know what's going to come in, <laughs> yeah. and you never know what we got for sale. Do you want to handle that? Right? Yeah, no, I'll do it later. But I don't want to muck them up. Loads of cards in there. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, Charles Buchan's Football Monthlies, we've probably got every one. Mm -hmm. I say every one, there's one that's sought after, which is um, Busby Bade, the guy that died. Yeah. Finals, all down there. How do you know which stuff to, to put out then? 
Well, you don't. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mind I your suppose when you turn around. I suppose it's like you said. If someone comes in and they yeah they ask for things, then like, yeah. I mean, we try and like the here's all A and B C cards, uh, football A and B C cards. Oh yeah. And just a whole crate of them. Mm. Um, let me try and reference them. Um, goes back to the first ones. Oh wow. Some of the players we've just been speaking about. Yeah. We're having a chat before this. Uh, about... There he is. That's... Oh no, he's not. There's Don Revy. That Finney. One. Don Revy. Yeah. Billy Wyatt. Don Howe up there. And the other good thing about this shop is, you know, you, you meet people who have got a great knowledge of different things mm. and you know you're you're educating yourself all the time and yeah. so it's it's quite a social thing as well yeah because, definitely you know on ebay you haven't got that social side of things. no that's it yeah you, you know? don't really get a chance to have a chat and talk about well memories and all sorts yeah. of different things who's this person here alaminta ah oh, right. a, a boxer world champion who's beaten by marvin hagler ah oh, no. Heard of him. It was absolutely riots. <laughs> it's not one, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've got a lot of like that in here. Charlton, the same, Millwall, Spurs. Yeah, well, you got a leaflet Yeah, I came here with a leaflet actually. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just put. So Garage England medal collection. Well, there's some match attacks and some figures. Yeah, Tommy Trinder. Luton. There's just so much of it. Oh, this is a better folder. Oh, wow, look at all that. Yeah. Some good ones there. It really is some lovely stuff. The only trouble with this is, keeps going backwards and forwards. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Bartram, where they've had the autographs in an autograph book, sometimes they've signed on the back. So you've got oh, uh, Jimmy Greaves see. on the front and George Best on the back, and you think, oh, bugger. Yeah. It's Jolton. Yeah. Blackpool. Bit of Arsenal, Jimmy Logie. Quite a lot of Charlton around mm. here because of the, the area. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the things that I picked up from Welling Collectible. Shout out to uh, Ian, Barry and Mark. I think it was Ian and Barry that was uh, was there on the day. Um, absolute legends. They, they were really kind enough to show me around the store. They took me into the basement as well, which is off limits for customers. Um, but they did explain that they're not necessarily the best at social media or they don't feel they use social media maybe as much as they could. So they were actually, I was quite nervous about going in there and asking them if I could film. I decided that I was going to buy stuff first um, and then ask if I can film because I didn't want to be like, oh, can I film in your shop and then have a look around and there wasn't really anything that I wanted to, to purchase. But I did end up purchasing quite a lot from them, which I think you'll be, uh, you'll be interested to see. And um, yeah, two of the, honestly, two of the loveliest guys ever. Um, were actually really appreciative of the fact that I wanted to film in their shop because they thought it would bring them more business, which hopefully it will. Um, but I hadn't realised that I'd already actually met Ian at the London Card Show and he um, gave me a good, sort of a good discount or a good deal on um, some of the, if you'd seen that video, I'll link it up on screen, um, some of the signed Fulham cards that I got. So he, he said he used to go around and um, 
the Fulham cards were really easy to uh, to get hold of in terms of get, getting players to sign the match tax cards. So I bought a few off those. I think it was card sales came over to me and said, um, there's a, a guy over there that's um, selling Fulham signed cards. You might want to have a look. And um, I did I did exactly that. Um, so I hadn't actually realized that Ian was the owner of the shop. Um, it was someone else. I think it was Mark that I met at the London card show who gave me the leaflet to Welling Collectibles. Um, but obviously Mark wasn't there on the day. So, um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the kind of the compilation anyway of, um, of some clips and bits and pieces. Um, what I will do is I'll just show you the, uh, I'll show you the address of the Welling Collectible store so you can go to have a look. Um, I did do a TikTok on it as well and a few people did comment saying that that was their local store. So that was really cool to see. But if you're, uh, like a Hornby train collector, if you're, um, into Star Wars figurines, um, gaming pokemon they've got a bit of a bit of everything for everyone really so um yeah really really nice guys highly recommend you get down to welling collectibles i think it's um best way to describe it is it's uh just underneath uh woolwich so so you uh maybe long time arsenal fans will uh, will know where woolwich is right so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take everything out of this bag because the mic's going to pick up on it and it's going to be really horrible. It's going to be like some um, terrible ASMR or something. Um, so this is obviously the Kent Clark Club as well. I haven't gone to this yet, but I'm going to hopefully do a video on that soon. We've got a bit of... Uh, it's a bit. It's, everything's a little bit all over the place here because I just shove it in a bag. But let's start off with some of the loose cards. So... Picked up a nice Rude Hillet Chelsea card. I think this is about 20p. Um, so not in the best condition, but it's a nice one anyway for um, any sort of Chelsea fans. We picked a, a Tops Authentics Fernando Torres in the Chelsea shirt. I thought that was a nice one. Again, I think that was all these Chelsea ones I decided to pick up were 20p. Um, so nice Andre Shevchenko. Tops uh, design. I can't remember what design that's called. Uh, a Drogba. Don't ask me why I picked up loads of Chelsea stuff. It was just, there was just a load of, there was a box with uh, some loose cards in there, all the 20p a card, and there was a sort of a, uh, Chelsea cards in there. So I also picked up this nice Jimmy Greaves. This is actually in very, very good condition um, from the A and B C product. But a nice Jimmy Greaves there, sadly passed away. And a nice Bobby Robson. I picked this up actually for my granddad, who's a big, big Ipswich fan. So I decided to pick this one up from him from Football 79. I do really like that. Bobby Robson card. Uh, we picked up a, a Lothar Matthias by Munchen card from Football 94. Pretty nice one. I think these were about, the ones with the blue stickers on were about a fiver. So I think they were five pounds each. Um... We also picked up this Bobby Moore in a Fulham kit. Really, really like this. Never seen this card before, um, but this is the Leaf 100 Years of Soccer Stars. So I've never, ever seen this set, never seen this card before, so I had to pick this one up. Um, I was talking to Ian about being a Fulham fan, so I was picking up some of the Fulham, fans that I, Fulham cards that I saw, and I thought this is uh, definitely one for the, the PC. I really, really enjoy that. We picked up this sort of 3D-looking um, Bobby Charlton card. I've seen these on... Uh, eBay before but they are absolutely massive in hand so it's the Sun 3D gallery of football stars so nice Bobby Charlton there we've got an envelope of bits and pieces oh I won't show you the receipt let's get that off the screen I might have to blur that if that did come on screen so this was a funny one this is again I've never seen this set before but it's another Jimmy Greaves but this is um do you know what? I can't even remember the set and it's not going to tell me but if anyone knows what this is from um you can put it in the comments but this is really thin paper but a nice one of Jimmy Greaves loads of A and B C stuff so we've got a, a Bobby Moore of uh, orange backs we've got a Bobby Charlton there was only two of these and they neither were in good condition one had a pen mark on it and this has got a giant fold in it but I still like these um, a Bobby Robson for West Brom a Johnny Haynes for Fulham I had to pick that one up both of these are from the uh, 1958 A and B C set so this has obviously got the um, Charlton rookie in it, although they didn't have any of that. Um, a nice Dennis Law from the uh, Greenbacks A and B C. These are all A and B Cs, I think. Another Bobby Moore, a Bobby Charlton, another Bobby Moore, another Dennis Law, 
another Bobby Charlton. Or is that the same one, or is that is it the same photo? Oh, it is the same one. So I did pick up two of these. This one's in a better condition. A, uh, this is a cool one. A Graham Sooners. Red back. Is this a... This is A and B. Yeah, it is A and B, C. Uh, Billy Wright. I think this is his rookie. I want to say this is his rookie, the England and Wolves centre-back. Still got the record for, I think, most clean sheets of any England player. And a nice Brian Clough at Middlesbrough there. Um, so that's all the single cards, I believe. And then we also got this hints on association football. So these are all the uh, the playing cards of different, I think it's different, like, footballing skills. So you've got, oh, I've gone a bit early in. Yeah, so you've got how to kick, the volley. So this is a complete player's cigarettes um, set. I don't think the player's cigarettes, I think they're fairly common. These are quite easy to find, but I've never actually found a full book. I think this is the same book that LDN Cards picked up, actually. At, uh, um, I think he said he was in the Isle of Wight and there was a trade show or something and he ended up picking up one of these. But I thought this was a really cool one just to have on the shelf. Um, it doesn't actually have any players in it. It's just um, basically skills and things to learn about football. But obviously the complete set all stuck in, which I thought was pretty cool. This is like, this is what f f almost like football sticker albums used to be like. You had the cigarette cards. So that's a really, really nice one. Um, has got some writing on the back. It's obviously not in the best condition, but it's um, still a pretty cool one. And then this, which was only a pound, um, I thought I had to pick this one up because it's um, a bit of research. Right, so, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I decided to pick this up. I might take this to the charity shop with me if I do find some... Um, some cigarette cards it does actually give you a uh, kind of rough pricing of how much each of the cards are actually worth or how much the full sets are worth um obviously this may have changed if you've got maybe older football sets that maybe didn't used to be worth much but now have players in them that have what have worth um following obviously the soccer card boom um but yeah i just thought it was a really cool one so you can see there's a buzz West Midlands Collector Centre there. There's a Busby Babes, England Captains, Golden Wolves and Vintage Spurs. So that's just a couple of um, examples. Um, £6, £5, £3 and £5. So for a pound, I couldn't really say no to this. Um, and it will hopefully, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to read it through back to back like I would a dictionary or like, or no, you wouldn't read a dictionary back to back. That's kind of what I meant. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's just quite a cool one. For example, here's another uh, prominent footballers. The um, that set's quite a, a popular one, isn't it? It's the ta is it the Taddy set? I think it's the Taddy set. Um, so, yeah, bit of reading, uh, a bit of research I can do if I do see a, a card cigarette um, thing that pops up. I can kind of have a look and maybe for the non-footballing ones, I can the footballing ones. I kind of have a rough idea, but. For the non-footballing ones, if I might find something that's really rare, um, it might be a nice little flip on eBay. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Something different. Um, I've got out of the uh, out of the flat for once. Um, so uh, yeah, that wasn't a card show, but it was a card shop. Um, let me know if you know of any card shops. I'm happy to travel up and down the country, um, as I will be doing with the card shows, which is very very exciting. I cannot wait to to be filming at card shows again. I'm going to the London Card Show, going to the uh, Nottinghamshire Card Show in Sheffield, um, and I'm going to the uh, the Cardiff Card Show as well, which I'm really excited about, which I think I need to rebook accommodation for. So hopefully that's not too expensive, but Cardiff can be a bit pricey. Uh, but yeah, there we are. If you have enjoyed this video, um, please do drop a big like on the video. It's taken quite a lot to edit this video, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon notification so that you don't miss a video. Um, you're more than welcome to sign up and be a member of the channel as well. That does really help out the channel. It allows me to um, hopefully buy some boxes to open up on the channel. Um, and um, yeah, you get exclusive videos. You get emotes, um, emojis. Uh, you've got uh, votes on what videos you want to see next. Polls. There's a community page um status updates that sort of thing so um you're kind of the first to know before videos get released of what's coming up and uh yeah hopefully i will see you on the next sports cards uk video thanks very much